Welcome back. This is the third segment of Powering a Sustainable Tomorrow uh, for Cummins with Nitin and I. Hopefully you saw the first two segments. And on the third, as we mentioned, we're going to talk about integrated powertrains. And so we've talked a lot about there's a lot of complexity going on right now in our industry. And uh, one of the issues is no one group could do it all. And one of our core strengths at Cummins uh, is our ability to partner. And we value those partnerships deeply. And we partner with the likes of OEMs uh, such as Packard, Daimler, Tata, Komatsu, others all around the world. And we just hold those vital uh, to how we, how we manage through this. Um, and I, we can't do it without them. Uh, and it will continue to be a huge focus of ours. So welcome, and we're going to dive into integrated powertrain. So Brett, thank you for the introduction uh, of this third episode. And you, you spoke about our ability to partner with mm. various OEM across the globe. But at the same time, in the recent past, we have done some really great acquisition, which have added a strategic edge to our product portfolio. And one such acquisition was Maritor. Can you talk about what advantage this acquisition can offer to our partners globally? Yeah, that's a, that's a, it's a really good question, Nitin. Um, we were pretty strategic with the Meritor acquisition. Um, one, Meritor as a group had uh, excellent products. Um, they operated in very similar markets to us, mm -hmm. and they had a pretty similar culture to Cummins. Um, but we thought that together, Cummins and Meritor could provide a few advantages to some of our OEM partners and end customers alike. Um, one, we needed to do some more integrated product planning for long-term investment in order to unleash fuel economy, drivability, uh, a variety of access for some of our uh, best customers in order to meet some of these greenhouse gas challenges that we've talked about. Number two, we thought some of our investments in Accelera and the battery technologies combined with some of the axles could produce better e-axles in a wide variety of our customer applications and really marrying those two portfolios under Cummins would be a, a huge advantage. Uh, and then three, um, I, I really think uh, it's the base idea of the wherewithal of Cummins to be incredibly committed to this market for the long term. And not only that, have the global presence to be able to uh, offer these series of, uh, of products into the Indian market, Chinese market, and a variety of other developing markets around the world, where Cummins had a very, very strong presence and Meritor mm -hmm. was not as strong at the time. Great, so it's kind of complement each other and help us to offer a better and complete portfolio to our customers. Th that's the essence. Uh, as we said, we work a lot with our partner OEMs and we must offer a variety of those offerings in order to meet these challenges they see as they go down their decarbonization and improvement initiatives just on overall truck and vehicle performance. Really great. So Nitin, I, I talked a little bit about the global level of our increasing powertrain portfolio through both joint venture, acquisition of Meritor and others. Um, and, and I know how that rolls out globally, but how do you see it in the Indian market and what are the advantages we can bring to customers? Well, Brett, uh, I think uh, this gives us a great strategic advantage of providing a complete solution to our OEMs as they are transitioning uh, towards a new energy because a lot of new components are getting added, which our OEM industry may not be familiar with, where we can come in and offer our expertise. For example, the battery and e-axle integration. Uh, so we have the ability to offer a complete solution mm. and help them achieve their end objective, which is you know improving their TCO for their customer. Because at the end of the day, if there's no TCO parity with respect to diesel, there won't be a mass adoption by our customers. Right. So we enable our customer with our ability, having both Meritor and the Indian business and the, the new businesses that we have, so we are able to provide them the complete solution, one-stop solution, and fine-tune the entire system so that they get the best fuel economy and best TCO for their customers and eventually uh, gain the market share. So, Brett, thank you so much for being with me on this uh, series of podcasts. I've really enjoyed it. Thanks for the invitation. 
Thank you. And I hope uh, this was insightful to our viewers also. Thank you.